الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ذلك بأن الله هو الحق وأنه يحيي الموتى وأنه على كل شيء قدير وأن الساعة آثية لا ريب فيها وأن الله يبعث من في القبور ومن الناس من يجادل في الله بغير علم ولا هدى ولا كتاب منير ثاني عطفه ليضل عن سبيل الله له في الدنيا خزي ونذيقه يوم القيامة عذاب الحريق ذلك بما قدمت يداك وأن الله ليس بظلام للعبيد ومن الناس من يعبد الله على حرف فإن أصابه خير نطمأن به وإن أصابته فتنة انقلب على وجهه خسر الدنيا والآخرة ذلك هو الخسران المبين يدعو من دون الله ما لا يضره وما لا ينفعه ذلك هو الضلال البعيد يدعو لمن ضره أقرب من نفعه لبئس المولى ولبئس العشير صدق الله العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين Last night we read that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that those people or all oh people if you are in any doubt about being about resurrection being given life again then we are telling you the exact and tiny details of how you were given birth in the first place and when that Allah who has given you birth from clay the first round then the first time round then that Allah is also very capable of giving you life again. ذَلِكَ بِأَنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْحَقِّ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says three things in this ayah. This is because Allah is حَقْ Allah is the truth himself. وَأَنَّهُ يُحْيِي الْمَوْتَى And he is the one who gives life to death. وَأَنَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ And he is powerful to do everything. This is perfection in person, perfection in capability, and perfection in authority and these are the things that God must have and that is why we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah is God Allah has the only God Allah is the only one who has these perfections and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa anna fiha. with all those things in mind know that the hour of doom the sa'a fiha. It has to come and there is no doubt about it. And knowing all these things, you should know that Allah will definitely raise again all those who are in the graves. So nobody should think that they will die and they will become clay and they do not have to uh, stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be raised again and be responsible for what they did. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يُجَادِلُ فِي اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ وَلَا هُدًا وَلَا كِتَابٍ مُنِيرٍ So this before this mention of the creation of a human being, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had said, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يُجَادِلُ فِي اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمِ This refers to a particular person, name was Nazar ibn Haris, and this person uh, used to challenge the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in very petty and ridiculous ways. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recited the Qur'an and the Sahaba recited the Qur'an and even the hearts of the kuffar would melt. So what did he do? That he brought somebody from outside, a singing woman, and said they listen to her. She also sings very beautiful, Nauzubillah. So she, her voice is very, uh, you know, it will also create an effect on your heart. Similarly, he tried to uh, say verses and ash'ar uh, in comparison to the Quran. Of course, they were nothing in comparison to the Quran, had no effect. But this is what he kept on doing. And, and there's different stories of, about Nazar ibn Haris. Different ayat have hinted towards him that this person used to challenge the Nabi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These ayat also. Uh, also mention him. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يُجَادِلُ فِي اللَّهِ Of course the meaning is, the ruling is general. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يُجَادِلُ فِي اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ وَلَا هُدًا وَلَا كِتَابٍ مُنِيرٍ This person, there, among men there is one who debates about Allah with no knowledge, no guidance and no enlightening book. So he has nothing to stand on, 
no knowledge sometimes a person has knowledge sometimes <laughs> the unique thing is that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning knowledge and guidance separately so sometimes knowledge does not always ensure guidance sometimes a person has knowledge but no guidance sometimes a person is not very knowledgeable himself but he is guided he is guided he follows other knowledgeable people and he is guided but this person he has neither knowledge of his own nor any guidance nor any kitab no wala kitab munir and does not have any scripture from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so he has basically nothing thani aithi li yudill an sabilillah he thani aithi it means the side so he turns away gives a side turns his side away to lead people astray from the way of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lahu fi dunya khiz for him there is in this world khizi humility disgrace and this person was disgraced at the hands of muslims in the battle of badr wa nuziquhu yawm al qiyamati adab al hariq and we will have him taste the punishment of fire on the day of judgment so this of course is about a particular person but the ayat of quran in their principles are general and for everyone so whoever fights in the matter of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without knowledge without any guidance and without standing on the book of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala basing their uh, their their knowledge on the book of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then they this is their may allah protect all of us this is their uh, fate dhalika bima qaddamat yadak and this is not because allah is cruel or anything but dhalika bima qaddamat yadak this is what he earned for himself he sent forward forth for himself with both his own hands so qaddamat yadak it's a proverb of arabic that this is what you did your own hands earned for you this is what you sent forth with your own hands wa anna allah laysa bi dhallamin lil abid and allah does not allah is not uh, unjust or cruel unjust to his servants wa min an-nasi man ya'budu allah ala harf then among men there is one who worships allah ala harf standing on the verge right on the very verge fa in asabahu khayrun itma anna bi if good things are given to him or if he has goodness fa in asabahu khayr itma anna bi he is very peaceful very calm and very satisfied wa in asabathu fitna and if a challenge comes in his life in qalaba ala wajhi he turns on his face or turns back his face so their faith is that as long as goodness keeps on happening to them they are very happy with allah but if a challenge comes in their life they start to run away from islam khasir ad dunya wal akhirah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying that such people are those whose world they have they have taken loss in this world and of their hereafter dhalika huwa al khusran al mubin and that is a manifest open clear loss so this is about those people who embrace islam looking at the benefits of becoming a muslim and whenever they would find any challenge or any hardship then they would run away so they would they did not have full conviction and if there was any economic benefits they would be really happy that oh islam is islam is doing so much good to us and if they nawazubillah uh, if they face any hardship then they would say that this is all because of islam because of islam we are in so much trouble nawazubillah so us muslims as well we should be ready to face challenges the real deal the real promise of a good life is in the hereafter allah's promise is for the hereafter if allah gives a good life in this world that's his mercy we do not deserve it we are not entitled to it Mus- just by being a muslim we are not entitled to have very peaceful life very comfortable life no we are not the real promises of the hereafter that if you die on iman then allah has promised jannah this world is a place of amal action constant challenge constant effort so if somebody thinks that i will because i am a muslim i should live a very peaceful very comfortable very luxurious life that's not the promise of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we should all ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for ease and comfort but if a challenge comes then we should be ready that it might come and we'll have to face it and we cannot we 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 just cannot give up our faith because if we give up our faith then that is in the words of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala khasira ad-dunya wal akhirah you lost your world and you lost your hereafter dhalika huwa al-khusran al-mubin that is an open manifest loss rabbana taqabbal minna innaka antas samiul alim wa tub alayna innaka antat tawwabur rahim allahumma ij'alna min ahli al-qur'an alladhina hum ahluka wa khassatuk wa sallallahu ta'ala ala khayri khalqi sayyidina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in ahli rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin